In a distant land, two great kingdoms were plagued by a terrible infection. The people of both kingdoms grew weak, and the healers could do nothing but watch their loved ones fall ill. Legends spoke of a healing flower hidden deep in the forest between the two kingdoms, a flower with the power to make medicine strong enough to cure any sickness. Yet, no one knew where to find it. In one kingdom, there lived a beautiful princess named Isabella. She had golden hair and a heart full of kindness. Isabella had a passion for reading and often spent her time lost in the pages of books. One day, she came across a book that mentioned the healing flower. Determined to help her people, she vowed to find it. In the neighboring kingdom lived a prince named Alexander. With a spirit of adventure, Alexander loved nothing more than exploring new lands and seeking out challenges. When he heard of the healing flower, he too felt a deep urge to find it, knowing it was the only way to save his people. At a grand gathering between the two kingdoms, Isabella and Alexander met for the first time. Though they came from opposing lands, they shared the same desire. To find the healing flower and end the fighting between their kingdoms, they decided to embark on the journey together. One day, while reading through her books, Isabella discovered an ancient text that held the key to finding the flower. It contained a guide, but only the wisest of minds could interpret it. She and Alexander set off on their quest, venturing deep into the forest that lay between their kingdoms. In the heart of the forest, they met an old man named Eldon who knew the secret of the flower's location, but he would only reveal it if they could solve three riddles. Isabella and Alexander worked together, using their wits and courage to solve the riddles. As they journeyed through the forest, facing trials and obstacles, they grew closer, though both denied the feelings blossoming between them. After solving the final riddle, they discovered the truth. The flower could only be found through the power of true love. It was then that Isabella and Alexander realized their feelings for one another. They confessed their love, and in that moment, the ground began to glow. Before their eyes, the healing flower bloomed. They returned to their kingdoms, sharing the healing flower's power with both lands. Their love brought an end to the war, and the people of both kingdoms rejoiced. Isabella and Alexander were married, uniting their kingdoms as one. Together, they ruled with compassion and wisdom, living happily ever after.